Washington, uh, D.C., you guys. Apparently, they only have one marijuana inspector, you guys. That's right. The district only has one marijuana inspector to police the entire Wild West of weed in the nation's capital. Why this matters? Well, industry operators say D.C. needs more manpower to crack down on unlicensed I-71 weed shops and oversee the growing legal medical dispensary market. The Alcoholic Beverage and Cannabis Administration, the ABCA, Seoul's marijuana inspector Jason Peru is tasked with performing regular inspections of the nearly dozen medical marijuana dispensaries in D.C. He ensures their inventory is up to standard and that proper security measures are in place. In addition, he responds for investigating more than 100 I-71 shops, signing cease and desist orders, and attending hearings. Well, we were all surprised recently when we found out there was just one inspector, says Linda Mercado Green, the owner of medical marijuana dispensary Anacostia Organics. Green and other medical marijuana shop owners want the district government to begin shutting down I-71 shops, and the ABCA had told medical dispensary operators that it was expecting to post job descriptions for two new inspectors, according to Grace Hyde a director at family-owned dispensary District Cannabis. But ABCA told them that the postings are, are stuck at D.C. HR, awaiting final approval, Hyde says. In a quote, it's the epitome of slow bureaucratic government, Hyde says. The other side of this, though, is the ABCA didn't say when they plan to hire additional staff, and DCHR said it is collaborating with ABCA to put on a potential future hiring and will post positions once finalized. ABCA tells Axios that the next fiscal year's budget funds uh, funds an enforcement team of one supervisory investigator overseeing three investigators. And in addition, one compliance analysis and two compliance auditors are supposed to be dedicated to medical marijuana businesses. The agency says it, it in quotes, has sufficient resources to implement a new law that took effect on July 15th, giving cannabis regulators increased enforcement authority. And since Congress uh, blocks D.C. from legalizing the sale of adult-use marijuana, I-71 shops have uh, opened and operate under a loophole in the law, offering customers a cheaper product with no medical form needed. D.C. is asking these unlicensed gifting shops to get legally permitted by applying for medical marijuana licenses or be forced to shut down. And so far, ABCA has inspected more than 120 suspected illegal businesses and issued 79 written warnings, 23 cease and desist orders, and one summary closure notice. From, source from the spokesperson Mary McNamara wrote in the email to Axios, you guys. Well, 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 D.C. sounds like it's about to be the next New York. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this. One inspector, they're having a field day. Mm -hmm. Literally, yeah, yeah, can't really can't really add much to uh, this story that that wasn't said last week when we talked about DC. Like it would it would help a lot, you know, if if they were allowed to do things and operate like a state, but they're not. They shouldn't know? be allowed to operate like a state. They're not a state. They're a territory. I won't go. I won't dig into that today because I don't want to go back and forth with with why they're a state and why they're excuse me why they're not a state. But because uh, they I'll never were say, made one, you know shouldn't what? be if they were able because they were never made one in the first know, place. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you down that, Jason. Like I said, that's fine. But, um, I'm just I gonna say win. If, I, if I take that as a, a concedence. Uh, let me finish. Let me finish my point. Mm -hmm. If they had the ability to operate like others, they would maybe operate like others and not operate with one inspector like they are right now. The best with what they can. And um, it is what it is. It's going to have to be what it is. It's I mean, how big is DC anyway? It's about ten by ten blocks or something, right? Yeah, it's not big. It's it's, it's not that big. How many parking enforcement authorities do they have? They Officers, have I mean, they, they have a lot of parking enforcement. I That's bet they sure. do. Yeah, lots of it. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe the parking well, enforcement can kind of can kind of uh, it, moonlight as a uh, well. The, the, it's, easy, it's, it's easier to write tickets than it is to plow through the thickets. I mean, I think you need a little bit more 
training Ours. and qualifications to be able to enforce against. I mean, really, uh, Yarl, you just I don't I'm not buying that. All you got to do is just walk into these places and see that they're selling selling these illicit products. I mean, it's not hard to, to the, for the for a trained eye to tell. Jesus Christ. Are you a cop honestly, now, Jason? Honestly, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and say if they've already shut down a shop right they're doing more with one person than new york's done with the entire fucking nypd right so Fair enough. um you know and, and i agree right. with jason a little bit it's not that hard to see a, a california warning on a product sitting yep. in the district of columbus columbus mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm you know i'd like to say that unlike my I'm socialist I'm friend jason beck <laughs> i believe in the free market and think people should just be able to sell weed without getting tickets I'm gonna start calling. I would rather be. I'd rather be blowing <laughs> yeah. out basements again too, Matthew St. Germain. But we're not. So let's figure out how to make this work as a regulated system. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to keep. I, I just want to keep finding ways to refer to you guys as my socialist friends. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not. We're, we're, we're you, not socialists. As long as you call us your friends, Matthew. Mm -hmm. That's all that matters. I love you. As as you, love you can call us your. Um, you can call us your SoCal friends, though. That's as close as you're going to get <laughs> to that. SoCal. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Inspector you know the parallels the parallels with new york are too there are too many of them with this article right i mean you've got new york which has this workaround system that's yeah. not a great workaround they don't have adult use they're putting their singular person into enforcement actions you read off the statistics of the number of tickets written mm -hmm. we already know from new york you can find for a billion dollars and you'll collect about ten dollars yep, so all of exactly. that is just a big waste of time and taxpayer money and 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 new <laughs> washingtonians or whatever we call these dc yeah, Washingtonians. Yep. they deserve they deserve to be able to access low cost easily accessible clean safe cannabis it's it, it it may not be a human right but it's right below that and why right. they wouldn't just stand up and maybe it is i don't know yeah. i need saint germain for my for my moral north star but with it, but at a, at a minimum the, the notion that they're going to enforce their way out of this incomplete system that doesn't stand up adult use it's just more it's just more craziness and why do it that way that doesn't need to do, be done that way so it's it's really sad it's like do you need one enforcement person or two it, 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 it's irrelevant until you have policy that prioritizes safety quality age restricted and 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 an industry that looks like like a regular cpg industry for those urban people who want to stop by and grab a fucking hash hole and well, until they have own. that all of it's just going to be some bullshit band-aid workaround. Yarrow, they do, they I mean, do, they do have a lot of low-cost weed out there because there's a whole bunch of booth out there sitting on those shelves. Anyhow, I mean, it's not just like it's a DC, New York situation. The same thing happened in Colorado when it was medical ones. The same, the gifting, did the gifting really? platform. Yeah, the like, fuck it did. They not had like all this. of these. Hold not like on this. And hush. Not like no, this. No, you're going to let me. Fit. You don't know what you're talking about. So I why do. don't you stop and sit down for Go a moment? Go for it. Go for it. I know it, you're Jenny. low enough, but Go sit. Go for it. Go for it. All right. It. Good boy, thank yeah, you. Just sits um, the, oh, with all that. <laughs> I right, meant Jenny said Jason's standing at his desk. Oh god damn it! Get him down. All mm -hmm. right, so yes, yeah, so yeah, Colorado had the same thing. They still had it yeah, in Colorado than... Springs, which did not go adult use when the rest of the state of Colorado went adult use. Right? They still had these places that were collectives that where you come in and you buy a you know thirty dollar bag of chips, and all of a sudden you got an eighth too, right? Like, and so that's kind of. It's not a new thing. It's not a new, these cannabis churches, stuff like that. These things happen, and that's what it is when they're taking advantage of the gifting program, right? So that's that's not a new thing. It's not a New York thing. It's not a special workaround that D.C. and New York came up with. This happened, and it happened at a pretty large scale um, in Colorado. And as you started to implement adult use, these places started to get raided and shut down. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you ask the One Love Club out of Colorado Springs? But anyhow, Jason knows more than everyone, so let's let that's him right. talk. You're you so don't, right about but it's that. fun, that's, it's that's, fun that's, to play like that. You're 100% right about that it's last day. Back. Did you get your seat back? Mm -hmm. I got all my seats, girl. Tons uh, Jenny, I don't know Take several of them. I don't know how you got the monopoly in condescending commentary, but you are on a roll, my friend. It's just, Thank it's you. Just the Diet Coke. <laughs> it's the because Diet Coke. As, a girl, as a girl in the boys club for this long, you gotta get good at rolling with and doling out punches. Oh, I see. So it's the difference in anatomy that justifies the uh, the anonymity. The am, am, I can't even... Yaro. Yaro. Yeah, I can, I can go behind my desk and cry or I can fight back and I'm...
Not- Carl, j- just Brian. vote Trump, bro. We'll get all the women quieted down here by the end of the year. 